my name is Sirak Tripat. I'm Regional Director of Transparency International. I'm here to talk about the relationship of the in, uh, extractive industries and the sustainable development. Extractive industry has been one of uh, a key industries that basically bring prosperity um, to people in many countries. And the key of this industry and how it works is that it distracts um, natural resources of each country. And the very key goals that all the parties are now discussing is how we can make that process benefit to the majority of the people, as well as use those resources in a more sustainable way. The extractive industries, transparency initiatives, has been uh, coming at the very right time and really start the process of engaging government um, through a voluntary process, basically, that promote dialogue um, and disclose information um, by uh, company, especially. So it's, it's indeed a very important step um, that has been taken. Um, so far, this process has faced a number of challenges also. Some of the key ones has been the participation of civil society. As a result, there's been, uh, there might be very few NGOs active in the field. There are issues about capacity, there's issues of environment, uh, that will enabling civil society to act and contribute and play a key role. Overall, there are a good level of acceptance at this point that um, extractive industries, given that it's used up um, natural resources and that this, this process, the whole industries, must be more responsible to the society as a whole. And as uh, Nigeria is, of course, uh, a good example where the resource-rich uh, countries does not necessarily uh, translate into a better standard of living of people. EITI, Extractive Industry Transparency Initiatives, is a part of the story. It's a part of a solution. There are a broader need for transparency and accountability reform in the country. And as I mentioned, people engagement will need to be really upfront. And it is the part that everybody has to play a role also.